how should how should a person think about like is it okay to call the journalist if you sent the pitch and you didn't hear back let's say by the next day do you ever follow up with a phone call or is there like a rule a best practices around that it's a very controversial question uh, and you'll get a lot of different answers depending on who you ask but i'll give you my take and it's also extra nuanced now due to the pandemic because a lot of times you have their desk line is what's out there and they're not at their desk and they're generally not forwarding those numbers to their cell phone. So I got to also kind of caveat it that way. But what I would say is that the bar is really high to call a journalist. Right. So I think it's good to first email them, uh, then do a follow-up to the email. And actually we survey journalists, the vast majority are okay with it at least one follow-up email. So just being like a couple of days later, did you get this, want to bubble it up? But then the question is, yeah, if they don't write back, do you, uh, do you call them? And I think it's like basic, you know, first I'd say if you don't have a prior relationship with them, it's a real risk. So then, because it might piss them off. So it, it comes down to like, is it worth taking the risk? And if you, if you just know, if you've done your research, you've read all their articles, you, you spent a lot of time writing your email pitch, and you know it's perfect for them, then it might be worth it to take the risk. And then you know, if, even if they get pissed, you're like, well, look, I read your past five articles. I have this rationale why you should write it. So you know, I understand you didn't want the call, but I just thought it was the perfect opportunity for you. And I think and any other human being is going to respect that because you, you put in the work, you, know, you respected their time before you took their time. Right. If you just call them down the list of 100 journalists and then they ask you, like, why do you think this is good for me? And you're like, well, because I saw your, your, you know, your beat is back. Like, that's not going to be a good response. So I think, you know, there's that level. But then I, I will back up, though. I think it's a lot about, like, did you build the relationship first? Going back to uh, my advice for the young PR people where if you follow them on Twitter and they follow you or you got to know them well enough that they gave you their cell number and now you can text them, that's where the magic is. 